Hi friends. I'm past due for doing an August currently inked. I was going to do this at the start of the month because I had a lot of pens inked from the past two 30 inks. But actually, I've I've written a bunch of them dry. So it's all right that I waited. Um, let me find a page to do this in. Here, we'll do it here. First week of August, even though it's not the first week anymore. So this is gonna be an exercise in memory, though I do have my old, my old, I have my whatever that tells me what's inked. Um, okay, I think we're here. So we have, this is one of the older ones. It's from April 3rd. Let's do it. Wait, I know which one I want to do the title with. This one. Currently inked. We'll zoom in a little. Why not? So, right now, looking forward to the SF Pin Show. Though... This morning I set an alarm. I woke up earlier than I wanted to and still didn't get an appointment with Gina Salarino. But they said on their site that um, they'll have some spots available Friday morning, maybe, or maybe I can drop a pin off with them. They can ship back to me. So that's all right, I guess. So this is a Little swatchy swatch Twisby Eco Transparent Purple Broad and this is Diamine Deck the Halls. I ink this up in <clears throat> in April 30 inks. Still going strong. Near the end though, near the end. And we have, let's see, we have, mm -hmm. where are you? This one. Let's shake it a little. Roll it around. There's a hint of shimmer in that one, by the way, but not much. And we have this one. So oh, another Twisby Eco. Transparent blue, broad nib, and this is Birmingham Pins Galactic Twinkle. And I haven't been writing with this one enough. I should put this on my nightstand to use tonight. Um, I'm going to make a video, I think, also about my plans for the pin show, uh, because it seems to be the thing to do. So why not? And there's, there's a train that I can jump on. This one I've been using, but it just, I don't know if it's because the, the ink coats the pen, but it feels like it's just not going away ever. It's just always full. I'm got a theme with these first ones. Okay. Twisby Eco Clear 1.1. And the ink is Troublemaker Polar Lights. Yeah. I questioned whether that was the name of the ink. It is. A bunch of people have been posting their photos of stuff they got from the DC pen show. Um, which of course makes one look forward to the pen show. They're going to soon. Um, 
I don't know how much is left in here. Let's take a look. Um, I don't think it's quite full. It's pretty full still. This also needs to go on my bedside table. So this is the Sailor Pro Gear, Northern Lights, the broad nib, and the ink is Diamine Mombato's Hat. So those of you watching, have you been to a pin show? Do you have one near you? Do you kind of like look at them and like, that could be me. I could be going to that. They're fun, but unless you're doing classes, they're just like a place to spend money, which isn't bad per se, but I love this pin. This is my Amanda pin. This is my Amanda experience, to be honest, because this, I have been savoring. This is a Wall Town Watts and Peacock Plume. I only have the one, so I'm writing that. I'm just writing the one. I can't see if that says B or M. Let me get my other glasses. This says it's an M. My book says it's an M. It is. And the ink in this is Lummy Dark Lilac 2016, I believe it came out. Beautiful. Been enjoying this, savoring it. So, yeah. These are all kind of a family right here. So this is a Frisbee Eco Tea in Eggplant with a broad nib, right? Yep. And this is also Diamine Mombato's hat. Because like when I wanted to ink it, this was like the best color. This is actually getting near the end of its fill. It's just the ink coats this. I saw someone asking online about the best purple and they were saying like Pussier de Lune, this one or some other ones. And I'm like, man, this to me is hands down an easy question because this is a nice smooth ink. It's purple. Pussier de Lune is like a dusty purple and it's a pretty like unlubricated ink. I did not always like that writing experience. So there's that. And we have, oh, I gotta write this down. Here we have my uh, Monte Grappa Zero Ultra Black. Gosh, I love that nib still. I think it just says Red Dragon. Yep. <clears throat> it's a fantastic red. And I love it in this pen. Oops, zero ultra black. This I have a medium nib. I feel like I'm all over the place. I have a headache or migraine, not sure which today. Quite unfortunate. I'm going to take a hike. I might do it anyway. 
you know, push through, push through. Although sometimes there's some migraines that make your, like exertion migraines, that make all that worse. We'll go with this one next. So this is a, this writing experience I'm not enjoying at all, but I don't want to dump the ink because it's pretty and it's pricey. So that's a bummer. This is a platinum placer, a mist black, black mist, mist black in a medium. And this ink is a Kobe number 30, OG Cherry. So anyway, yeah, looking forward to the pin show, which is soon. Next weekend, maybe, I think. Um, and my list of stuff is, is it actually, it's sort of short, but sort of long. But no, one of these pins isn't on here. I have to fill them in. Um, it's an expensive list, so I don't know if I'm going to get everything on it. But, you know, it's a list of all the stuff I'm thinking of, and when I get there, we'll see. But I'm going to make a just a video to that so that I can concentrate it and not be doing this. Um, oops, isn't that an Eco Twist Bee Mini? Grape. This uh, has a medium nib. And this ink is Van... Demons, Royal Starfish. So what's nice is this sheen can be overwhelming, but it actually usually isn't unless it's um, has been a while since I've written with it, which given that I have this many pens inked, well, it's kind of frequent. Oh, man, and I have a lot of purples. <laughs> Like, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the one that's not in the book. I'm going to write this down. This is a problem with this pen. Frustrating. So this is what? Piper trading. That's right. I don't remember the name of this pen. I have it written in the back here. I'm gonna pause and check. We're back. This is called the Second Empire. This has a medium nib and the ink is Colorverse from Cali. I kind of like I needed to buy this ink because it's California, but it's so difficult to read. It like it looks all right here because of this top part. This is it having sat a while. Well, you look down here. This is so hard to see, especially on cream paper, especially with writing on the other side of the page. It's kind of a bummer. And this is the last one I have inked. Oh yeah, I, this one is a. Let me this custom with rickshaw. They have a thing where you can do that. So I'm bummed with myself because I should have filled this with one of my wet pen inks, like Diablo Lake maybe, but I went with one that it looked good and I hadn't used in a while. So this is my Visconti Kaleido Unicorn Galaxy, I think it is. I'm just going to put Unicorn Medium Nib. It's so juicy right now. I have this open. <clears throat> this ink is Edelstein Aquamarine My Birthstone, so I had to get it. And I like the color. Oops, that's contaminated. But that's all right. You can see how wet it is, which is kind of the point. So 
at the start of the month, I had far more pins inked, at least 10 more. For the past 10 days, I've done well. I got the start of the month well, at least since the end of last month. And now what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Pretty good. Pretty good. I've been thinking, maybe I should ink up another one and you do one of the wet pin inks. But realistically, if I find a pen at the pen show that I like, I'll want to ink it up. Oh, look at that. I must have put it. I got my fingers all over it. Anyway, I'll want to ink it up. And so I might as well have, you know, I can use that ink, those inks for that. Anyway, and here's the thing I've been using to, to put. So I don't know the date on this, but we'll add here. Um, this is my, like, when I'm inking a pen, I let it in here. So this is Piper Trading, Second Empire, Medium, and this was Colorverse from Cali. Oh, I kind of did this wrong, but I don't care. Um, I'll fill in the date later. Let's just make up the date. Let's just put 715. Because why not? It doesn't really matter. But anyway, yeah. So this actually is over there to be cleaned. The talisman, the abalone and ash to be cleaned. The floating cloud is in my to be cleaned pile. Um, and I think there was one other one, which would mean there's something missing from here. Oh, my, oh, some of them I've written in. My uh, Lamy, um, with Yamabudo. It's not in here. Ugh, whatever. I gotta show you this though, because I was saying, and some people haven't seen it, this is a campus notebook and reliably the bottom of this part of the page bleeds and the bottom part pretty reliably bleeds I don't, I don't know if you can see that this is just transfer but it is bleeding in those parts of the page it's, just, it's interesting um this paper is nice but the aesthetics aren't for me, which is why I used it for this. So I was doing currently inked in the back, but I stopped. Anyway, that's this month's currently inked. Um, there was this thing with the Visconti parade in Simona's Discord, which other people were like, yeah, I'm in, I'm in. And so I was like, okay, I'll ink up my Visconti. And then like very few other people actually seemed to take part. Which... <laughs> Is fine, but who knows if I'd have inked that pen otherwise. Look at all these purples though. Should we put all our purples together? There's so many. And I hope you're proud. At any rate, hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.